Nikki Steph says, my aunt tells me to go to church because that's when the Holy Spirit descends and is with us. Is this true? I'm abroad for school and I don't understand the language that well. Should I still go? Um, you should go to church because that's what God wants you to do. <laughs> that would be my answer, Nikki. Um, go to church because the Lord wants you to go to church. You're in fellowship there. It's uh, uh, read, read Ephesians. Like really just read, why not today? Just read straight through the book of Ephesians and see the value of the church and its place in your life and how you're supposed to be there to, to bless and minister to others. Um, but the church here refers to the people, not just the building. So you can gather with the church in any building. The important thing is you're gathering with the body of Christ for spiritual things. Does the Holy Spirit descend though? I don't know what that means. Um, biblically speaking, we do have some moments when the Spirit descended, right? Acts 2, the Spirit descended upon the apostles. That was this like amazing moment in Acts chapter 2 when they spoke in tongues. We have the Spirit descending upon Jesus in the baptism. But we don't have this like regular experience where whenever the church gathers, the Holy Spirit descends. I think the more regular experience, according to Ephesians, is that the body of Christ has given different gifts and skills and God nurtures us through each other. Just like my, my finger receives nourishment through my hand, through my arm, my heart. It's when we come together that we receive the nourishment, the spiritual nourishment that we get from one another. Um, I'm hopefully bringing a nourishment to you as I teach and talk about the word of God and scripture and encourage you and point you to Christ. This is me trying to exercise my gift for the body. I mean, we're not gathered as a church, but there's a piece of church happening here online. It doesn't replace a physical gathering. It really doesn't, but it's a blessing and it's part of what being the church is. Um, so yeah, I think you should gather. I think the terminology of the Holy Spirit descends is more of like um, Pentecostal terminology that it doesn't exactly fit scripture. Every time the Spirit descends in scripture, it's like a real big moment. Like the Spirit descends. Okay, when, when the Holy Spirit comes in the temple, they can't even... They can't, and the place is filled with smoke and they can't even uh, do ministry. So what I don't want to say is when I gather with the body, I'm very aware of God and I'm worshiping God and I'm having a wonderful time. I don't want to call that the Holy Spirit descending because I feel like I'm devaluing what the Holy Spirit was doing in scripture when he descended. So I'm going to avoid that terminology personally. Um, doesn't mean the Holy Spirit's not working. It's just the terminology. I, but I, but I'm all, at the same time, if, if it was my aunt, I wouldn't correct her. I wouldn't because why <laughs> let's just fellowship and not worry about it. <laughs> and if, if a great opportunity or the door opens to talk about an issue, that's fine. I, I don't, I, I'm answering these questions because this is such a great Avenue. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm far away from you. I'm a guy on a screen talking and you can hear me and think about it and you go, mm, I like it. I don't, I'm not your, your nephew or niece having a private conversation where I'm telling you what you're using that term wrong. I, I think, most of what we see, we need to just overlook if we're going to get fellowship with people. <laughs> That's just how life is. Um, 